Okay, so I just finished recording, editing, and uploading yesterday's video, and it's actually still the same day, but I decided I might as well get, you know, get ahead on videos. Sorry, I know this isn't really a good angle, so kind of have to like <laughs> bend over to see, but yesterday's video, we finished the stacked sorry we finished the stack section of the neat code 250 list and we skipped all of these and went straight to 1d dynamic programming and finished eight problems dang that's kind of a lot actually um but anyways okay my camera just fell sorry about that one second okay whoa this is actually a way better angle okay um anyways now i'm gonna be doing coin change and hopefully maximum product subarray and currently it's 547 about to be six i have until like nine because i do want to go get some steps in touch some grass hit the gym um at 9 p.m so maybe not touch grass but other stuff but anyways let's go ahead get into it i know in yesterday's video it was like a bunch of talking at the start. I don't know if I'm gonna keep on doing that, but if I do, then, um, well, I'm not in this video, but let me know if you guys want that. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, I just solved this problem coin change in like 15 minutes. And I'm honestly pretty happy about that because I remember last, last time I did this problem, it took me like, I don't know, I don't, I don't even think I solved it. It took me like three hours and then I had to look up the solution. But now it literally just came to me like, literally like nothing. And I think that goes to show if you, if you really like allow yourself to struggle in a problem, then you will actually internalize it and learn from it. And the next time you encounter something similar or you encounter in my instance, the exact same problem, it'll be 20 times easier because you went through the struggle and you actually um, learned from it. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next problem. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do these four problems. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do them. Um, I think I have seen this one before, but I don't think I've seen these two or this one. Let me actually check. Oh, uh, so this one I did yesterday, actually, I remember. I started doing it yesterday, but I didn't solve it. Um, yeah, I forgot. I actually recorded a portion of this video yesterday. Um, I don't know if that's going to be in here. But anyways, let's just go ahead and get started. Hopefully I can finish these in somewhat of a decent time i think i should actually set myself a timer so that way i don't end up wasting time maybe i'll do it for like 50 minutes um but yeah let's go ahead and get into it Okay, I just finished Lee Code 152, Maximum Product Subarray. I'm not gonna lie, this one was pretty difficult. It was hard to even come up with somewhat of a solution in the first place that wasn't brute force. And even when I did come up with a solution, it wasn't it wasn't working for every test case. So I ended up having to watch the Neat Code video on this problem, and it definitely helped a lot. Um, I kind of had the intuition for the solution, but I wasn't able to derive the solution myself and I ended up going over I think like 10 minutes over an hour working on this maybe even longer and so that's when I decided I might as well just look at the answer um, yeah Okay, it's been about like 50 minutes. I was able to get it running. Um, so with my attempt, I passed 45 out of 47 test cases with my code, but it was really complicated. And uh, once again, it wasn't 
it wasn't um passing all the test cases so i ended up just looking it up even though i was really close um i ended up just putting it into chat gpt and it basically told me that i was way over complicating things and i ended up fixing what was wrong with it which was just like i think like one minor error um which then changed it from 45 out of 47 test cases passed to 47 out of 47 test cases passed and so yeah um i'm gonna go ahead and take a break now and i will come back in a sec all right and i'm back and so i'm gonna go ahead and be moving on to the next leak code problem which is number 300 longest increasing subsequence and it says i've already solved this one before honestly i don't remember the solution at all i think i kind of have an idea so i'm gonna just run with it and see what happens I just finished the last problem of the day um once again i'm not gonna lie i had to look it up it was pretty difficult even though it's apparently one that i've done before i don't think i actually like internalized the solution the last time i did it i think i probably just copied and pasted unfortunately but now i do get it um i didn't do the optimal solution because um it wasn't the solution that i was kind of directing towards in my own code um but yeah this is definitely one i need to revisit and yeah so that's gonna be about it for today and thank you